Hello, and a very pleasant good day to you wherever you may be. Welcome to this special Cooper Soundbound video. Gabriel's gonna jump over here and join me now. Come on, Gabriel, come on. Hi. So first, I want to apologize if I break into a coughing fit in the middle of this video. Gabriel was sick um, in the last week, and non-COVID non sick. And I came down with something as well, again, non-COVID, but I think um, I think he might have actually had a little touch of the flu, and I think I might have as well. Yep. Yeah. So, I feel fine, though. Yeah, he, and he, he sounds doesn't. great. He sounds completely normal. I sound like I've got a cold in my nose. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So anyway, what are we doing today? So today we're going to be counting down our top 10 favorite candies in the world. And this is going to be super fun. We got the candies here. And yeah, so we're going to hop right in. He's going to say the even numbers. I'm going to say the odd numbers. So you're going to start. Yeah, we figured we'd do it that way so Gabriel gets to end with number one, of course. All right. So the number 10 candy in all the world that you can buy right now, you might have just seen it as Gabriel was picking it up, but we really like trolley gummy worms. Definitely uh, very fruity. Yes. Would you, I mean, like on a sour scale, how sour would you say these are? One to 10. Yeah. They're not like Sour Patch Kids sour, but they're probably a good maybe six. Maybe six? Yeah. They're okay. not like warheads or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would agree with that. I would say that they're, like, maybe a five or a six. Yes, yeah, they're yeah. good. Okay. Definitely good. So, good solid start and with number this, 10. This ranking right here was carried by me. He he thinks they're okay. I really like them. That's why they're never Yeah, we kind of, so we went out and we got all this stuff, and we, like, went to the store and sort of looked at everything that they had and said, okay, well, we're going to make a top 10 list out we of all out of this stuff. We picked 10 things, yes. Yeah, and, um... Gabriel's is kind of dominated. Gabriel's list is dominated by a certain type of candy, and mine's dominated by a certain type of candy. So yeah. we put those two together. Okay. So number nine. Number nine. What's Coming number nine? In at number nine uh, is going to be staple at one of nine. the best types of M and M's, peanut M and M's. Peanut yes. M and M's are so good. Uh, they we both really like them as opposed to trolleys which you think are okay but yes peanut m&ms are so very good they got that nice crispy crunchy peanut inside and of course um the classic m&m on the outside so yeah i think the best thing to do with peanut m&ms and actually was it you that had never started doing this until recently like you I, let you have the shell melt off in your mouth and the oh, chocolate actually yeah. gets soft underneath and then you just, you basically melt the chocolate right down to the peanut. And then sometimes you can even feel the little husk of the peanut come off too. And it's so, it's just like so satisfying and so great. I guess some people do that, but whatever. Yeah. So what I do with peanut M&M's is I always bite off the top of the m and M, So then the peanut's just right there. And then I take the peanut out. So it's just like a hollow, like layer of the M&M. And then I eat the m and Kind of like an Oreo. Okay. But yeah. All right. Nine. So. Number eight, another classic, and another fruity candy, but I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. These are these happen to be the mini kind, but we have Swedish fish at number eight. They're so good. Now I will say that I love these. I can eat like a hundred of these in a sitting, yeah. although I better not because there's just a little bit of sugar mm -hmm. in them. Yep. So um, what do you think of Swedish fish? They're so good. I just one thing, if you buy the box kind, like the like the one dollar box kind. The, the Swedish fish are really big, and there's only like 20 in there, so buy this kind. Yeah, the minis, you definitely get a lot more. I mean, I want to say there's there's supposed to be like, I don't know, this just says 12 ounces. It doesn't say in my head. I'd say there's probably like 100 in here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and this was a good price at the store, so definitely worth getting the minis. Yeah, there's a, 100 in here. A lot bigger bang for your buck. Serving size 11, serving size 11, 12 pieces. 12. Can you do that math real quick? Serving size 12 pieces. 12 times 11? Um, 12 times 12, it's a hundred, it's, um, a, 132. Yes! Excellent. Yay! Yes, sixth grade math. Excellent. Yeah, I okay. did it. Okay. And coming in at number seven, Gabriel? Okay, so coming in at number seven, this is um, an international candy, actually, not just in the United States. But... Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, it's okay. international. Okay, but this was carried by him. He loves this candy. It's one of his favorites. I, I personally like it. It's, I, it's a staple in Easter candy, but it's Cadbury. Cadbury's... But specifically Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. Yes. Well, the eggs are good, too. Yeah. 
<laughs> the eggs are actually they're, they're, one of the best things out there, but they're not available in stores right now. No, it's they're available yeah. at Easter. If the eggs were available year round, they would be close to number one on this list. Yeah, definitely. Okay. But this has to be stuff that you can find like at any time in the store. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Cadbury's, it's kind of like a Ghirardelli. Um, one of the Ghirardelli squares, it's got the chocolate square on the outside with like the like milk is cream inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. And they're British. Yay. Yay. Okay, coming in at number six, we have another fruity candy, but another one that I happen to like a lot. And these are Mike and Ike's. Just classics, easy to eat, you can devour. This is this is like the movie box. The, yep. Something that you get the at the $1 movie theater. The $1 box, yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, like $18 at the movie theater. <laughs> yeah. Um, but a lot of different flavors here. We got cherry, lemon, yeah, strawberry, and this, lime, and orange. This is the this original. Box. So there's five flavors in the original. Then you can get Berry Blast, mm -hmm. which has like ten. Then there's the Mega Mix, which also has pretty like ten. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like I don't know what you think. To me, these are like these are like really good, more sour jelly beans. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know they're a little bit of a different shape, but they always kind of tasted like jelly beans with a lot better flavor to me. Yeah, I, okay. I agree with you. Jelly beans are good, but like they're not as good as these. What's your favorite color? Oh, well, you know my favorite color is definitely orange. Oh. My favorite color in the world is orange, but I love orange flavored stuff yes. too. I like, I probably like um the kind of the lighter red, which is the strawberry kind. Yeah, good choice. Okay. All right, so what do we got? So, number five. Number five. This is a little bit of a Ooh. surprise. It's a classic candy, but a different, like, type of flavor. Uh, not a flavor, but a different, like, type of this classic candy. It's Snickers Peanut Brownie. Now, this came out, um, I believe, like, a year ago, and when I first saw it, I didn't think it would be amazing because of the combination of everything with the peanuts and the brownie and then the the caramel and the stickers on the outside, but it is amazing, and you haven't tried it. No, I haven't even tried it yet, but I think it looks, I mean, I love regular stickers. He loves everything I in love here. peanut butter stickers, I love almond stickers, I love every kind of stickers, and this does look like it'll be amazing, so even though I haven't tried this, I just kind of took Gabriel's word for try it. Try it. Well, don't open it yet. No. Don't open it yet. We'll try it. Well, all right, go ahead. I'll try it. Try it right, right now. You don't want to forget We're, I'm going to eat on camera here. This will be, this will just be great. All right. Bite size. <laughs> he just stuffs it in its mouth. Isn't it good? No. Yeah. yeah. Everything in there is like perfect. Caramel, um, peanuts, and brownie. Oh. Oh, it's bad. Oh, what the heck? You're lying. Oh, no. It's so, it's terrible. Yeah, what in the world? You're lying. Stop. <laughs> I am. It's actually amazing. Yeah. So. That is number Peanut four. Peanut brownie number stickers. Four. So number four. Unbelievable. Your turn. Number four, a classic fruity candy, and a lot of you have probably had this. Yeah. And those of you who are even like a little bit older watching this will probably remember this from your youth because this has been around forever. So much fun. The classic arcade candy. You can do all kinds of things with this. It's fun dip. <laughs> yes, we love fun dip. We love all the flavors, all the sour. We love yes. the fact that you can eat the stick. When and it you're actually done. tastes really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything about this is just wonderful. You can pour this out on a table and like make little patterns and bug your parents. You've done that? Uh, yeah, I used to like pour oh, fun dip out and like make that. drawings in it and stuff and then eat it up. Thanks for the idea. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was back in the 80s and we got away with a lot more stuff then, so no. Okay. All right, so fun dip. Amazing, versatile, yes. and you can even eat the utensil. Classic arcade candy. Yes. If definitely. you ever get like prizes that are, um, I mean, tickets at an arcade, and this is one of the prizes, please get it. Yep. It's just amazing. All right. What's our number three? Here number you. three, the, another classic candy oh. that is widely known to be like the best ever, one of the best ever. I this, mean, this is my favorite of all time. But this is not necessarily Gabriel's favorite, so we weighted things a little it's, bit. It's in my top five favorites. That's yeah. why it's number three. It comes in right at number in three. Middle. Okay, so that's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese's yes. Peanut Butter Cups, they're so... I held it upside down. They're so good. They, of course, they have the, um, the chocolate on the outside, and it's shaped like the cup, and they have the... Uh, the why am I what? It's the peanut butter on the. It's called. It's peanut butter. Yeah, yes, it that's is. What it's called. It's the peanut butter on the inside, and of course you, 
okay, you have like the the brown like paper thing, kind of like a cupcake, except it's surrounding the peanut butter cup, and I always like licking the spare peanut butter off of that. Yeah, when you like here in Florida where it's really warm, you peel those things open a lot of times, and a lot of the chocolate will stick to the to yeah. the cup, so it's kind of fun to lick the paper. And off. frozen Reese's are the best. Yeah, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> okay. All right, so number two, another fruity candy. And this one, I will admit, I've eaten entire boxes of it once before. I've eaten so many of these that, like, my tongue has actually lost its ability to taste and has actually burned a little Open bit. A hint. So be careful. It's Sour Patch Kids. I've you, never known a person who doesn't like these. You cannot they're go so wrong good. with Sour Patch Kids. I have never known somebody who doesn't like Sour Patch Kids either. That's why it comes in as number two yes. on our list. I mean, the just the it's, it's got universally loved. It's got the like the the sour like powder on the outside, and it, it's it's like trolleys except they're a different flavor and they taste a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And it's they're shaped like the Sour Patch Kids, and they're not like it's not false advertising versus like the product reality. Like some of the like SpongeBob popsicles and Spider Man popsicles, they actually are shaped and they look like um, kids. They do. Yeah. Yep, they really do. And there are, what would you say, about maybe 20 or 30 different kinds of these now? Yeah, there's, there's like, the watermelon, there's like the tropical mix, there's all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so if you've never, if you're like the only person out there who's never had these, go out and get some now. Yes, they're and, so and good. Buy them. Yeah, they're amazing. Okay. Alright, number one. Number one, coming in at number one. Uh, this, Gabriel's all-time favorite. This, yeah, it's all. It's my favorite candy. It's not his, but he loves it and too. And this actually might be the oldest candy. One of the oldest candies on that's still list. around today. Yeah. Yes, and um, it's uh, it's it's not actually named after the the baseball player, but I, I think just you, I think you just gave it away. Yeah, I just like how it is <laughs> kind of like close to Babe Ruth, and that's Baby Ruth. My favorite candy in the whole world. A little bit of a polarizing number one because probably a lot of people think it's like the same as, you know, Snickers or Twix and all that stuff. But yeah, I just think these are so good. They're my number one with the almonds and the nougat and the caramel. It's so good. Cool. So good. Almonds? Peanuts. Peanuts, right? Oh, yeah, peanuts. I think they, I've seen some that Dry have Dry like, roasted peanuts, before, but... rich caramel, and yeah. smooth nougat. I was like, after all these years, it's, it's got to still be peanuts in yeah. there, right? Mm -hmm. So why do you like these as opposed to, why do you like these more than like Snickers or something? Well, because really I feel like the, you know, Snickers has the caramel inside. And I feel like the, I, I like nougat better than caramel, even though it does have some caramel. But it's mostly nougat. Yes. And I also like it better than Twix because Twix also has nougat, I believe. But it's not like crunchy. It's not like a vanilla wafer. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's our top 10 candies. So we hope you guys have really enjoyed this video, and uh, we certainly enjoyed bringing you this fun kind of off-baseball season content. We're totally keeping our fingers crossed that uh, the owners and the Players Association are going to figure something out soon and uh, get this lockdown over with, but uh, the news didn't look good this past week, no. so... We're going to try to be getting, we're going to get creative with our yes. next few videos you're, you're here. You're going to see some weird off-topic, yeah. non-baseball videos from yeah. us. Yeah, we're uh, we're striking from baseball for just a little while yeah. until the players come back, or until, until an agreement's reached. Yep. So, we hope you guys have loved this, and um, please like and subscribe below, and we'll see you again next time. Please be well, and be healthy.